Hello, how are you today? In this tutorial, I'd like to very quickly show you how you can insert numbers onto your slide. This is a great feature, but it's not properly used by users. So let's say that you have a blank slide or you even have a ready design. No problem. You want to hit insert and you want to make sure that you insert a text box. Let's say the text box will be here on the right side and I'll call it slide. I press space and from the insert tab in the text portion you have slide number if i have it like this where i'm editing the text and i press on slide number it will automatically insert the slide number into this box now this is the edited slide number function if i duplicate this slide you can see it increments automatically so no matter if i for example copy it several times it will always give me the slide number. Control C, Control V, you can see six, seven, eight. What is the proper way to use it? The proper way is, for example, that you edit this text. You can do this like any other text. You could go to home, you could give it any design you want, you could make it bigger, and of course, you could leave only the number. This would maybe look better. Microsoft on their support website says that if you want to have slide 8 of, of 8 or 8 of 10 slides, you need to do that manually. Because the second way, the, the, the maximum, the, the total amount of slides is not available with this option. We can only make a slide counter. Another way of doing this, this is the first way. The alternative way, if you want to do slides but you don't want to use this always, is to add a new layout. A layout is something done in the slide master. If you don't know what layouts are, this is a separate topic, so you can let me know if you would like to know more about this, but this is a completely separate topic, but I'll show you. You can go to view, enter the slide master, and here in the slide master, this is the slide master, and those are the layouts. We can just right click and insert a layout. And we can remember that this layout will be only to add our slide counter. I'll hit insert and I need to remember that I cannot insert a placeholder. I need to insert a text box. This is very important. So you insert a text box like that and you need to be in the editing mode. Because if I select the text box like this, I go into insert and I insert slide number, you have this pop up and it's for header and footer. So PowerPoint will edit here and we don't need that. You need to be in editing mode, which is clicking here. So this little line appears and it appears and disappears. This is the editing mode. And right now you can select slide number. You see what happens in the slide master. It looks like that. And what's cool that we can set this up once and then we can use this any slide we want. So let's say that I'll go to home. I'll make this bigger. I'll select another like a more bulky font, something really visible. Okay, Franklin Gothic seems okay. I want to make the text less visible. Okay, like this. And this would be our little slide number. Now I go to slide master, I exit it. And any new slide I create, for example, here, I just right click, I select my layout and somewhere here is the new layout I created. It's this custom layout you can see on the right top side and if I click on it, we have already the slide number. Now when you create new slides, it automatically knows that you are using this layout. If you for example want to create a slide a different way, you don't want this number here, you just right click layout you change back to the normal layouts. Don't worry about that. And layouts are not as important. You can change the text and the boxes. And here is a very empty layout because I prefer always to have my shortcut, Alt-1, boom, new text boxes, Alt-1, boom, new text boxes. And this is a great way of forgetting about this, but having it here. This way you can very simply make a slight counter, which will work automatically inside of your PowerPoint presentation. I hope this is very useful for you. Thanks for watching this video and I hope we see each other in other tutorials like this. I don't know if I should say like every YouTuber 
remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. I feel like if you want to listen to me and if you want to watch those tutorials, you already know that. So if you are interested in such tutorials, subscribe and we see each other the next time.